Hey guys, we're in District 20 and we're checking out Bradle View, one of the last remaining HUDC estates in Singapore. Okay. Oh, it's starting. So we're heading up to a walk-up apartment here, three-bedroom maisonette at 1797 square feet, done up in a modern industrial team with charming views across all corners of the unit and the Kettle Court MRT just right behind us. So we think this home tour video is going to be quite special, so let's go check it out. Context to those who are new to the property market scene, HUDC, short for Housing and Urban Development Company, was set up in 1970s to provide affordable housing for Singaporeans who aspired for something more than a HDB but couldn't quite yet afford a private condo at that point. So this is what we know as ECs today. They were then privatised in 1990s to meet the demand of Singaporeans who wanted to own private homes. So these HUDCs have been redeveloped in the last few years into developments that we are familiar with today such as the Interlace and Treasure and & Tampanese and Jadescape. So Bradle View is the largest of the 18 HUDC estates. So this is 102 year leasehold tenure from 1978. So that puts a balance lease to just under 60 years. But for a mature estate, this development has been maintained very well. So just take a look at the landscaping all around us. So Bradle View sits on an incredible 1.14 million square feet land plot, but there's only 918 units built here. The units are distributed across 824 apartments, 16 penthouses and 78 maisonettes. And today we're checking out one of these maisonettes at Block 10. L. This maisonette stands at 1797 square feet, 3 bedrooms, 2 bathrooms and it's actually the biggest 3 bedroom layout in this development. So on the first floor, we've got the living and dining area as well as the kitchen, the utility and yard and WC. On the second floor is where the 3 bedrooms and 2 bathrooms are located. So what's special about this floor plan is the enclosed balcony. And in today's context, this is quite rare because most balconies are required to not have walls or glass panels as they're meant to be outdoor spaces. But in this case, the balconies have been fully enclosed and this gives you the opportunity to turn outdoor living spaces into internal livable areas for you. Bradle View is located on Bradle Hill, which is a littoral hill. It's a very quiet area surrounded by greenery with Matt Ritchie just 1km away. We've also got Caldercourt MRT just 6-8 to eight minutes away from the side gate. Bradle MRT nearby is within a 10 minute walk where you'll find plenty of amenities and food places as well. And if you're driving, the Lonnie Matt Ritchie Viaduct is literally at your doorstep and you can use this road to get to Bukit Timah or Holland Village in a matter of minutes. CTE is 6 minute drive away where you can head up to the city centre and PIE is just around the corner as well. So being located at the outskirts, this area feels like an oasis from the hustle and bustle of the surrounding mature estates like Topayo, Braddo and Gishan but yet still really accessible if you need to get shopping and other necessities done. So Junction 8 Shopping Centre is at Gishan MRT that's about 9 minutes by car. There's also Thompson Plaza which is about 7 minutes by car. There's Topayo West Market and Food Centre just 10 minutes away. Further up, we also have Block 93 Long for Topayo Market and Food Centre which is 10 minutes away. For parents, you will probably be paying attention to the 7 primary schools within 2km. Some of them will be CSIG Primary, Topayo and Marymount Convent School just next to us. And if your kids are older, there's also Raffles Girls Secondary just next door and Raffles Institution close by. So if you think outskirts means inaccessibility, you'll be pleasantly surprised when you visit this area. At 1797 square feet, this is a very spacious unit. You've got a wide sitting area here where you can explore not just an L-shaped sofa but even a U-shaped sofa with armchairs at the side. Feature wall has been done as well for you. There's also storage at the top that runs the entire length of the living area. you also notice that windows run the length of the entire one side. And this is what I was talking about earlier which is the enclosed balcony. So this is a really nice nook for you to put in a study area, a play area for your kids. In terms of orientation, this is southeast, so you do get a bit of the east sun coming in this direction at the angle. If you're using this as a reading corner for the morning, this would be really nice for you to watch the sunrise. Invisible grills and blinds have also been done up, so if you have young children living with you, so this is really good for safety concerns. And at the other end of the first floor is where the dining room is. It's a six-seater table, but definitely a lot of space for you to explore a bigger table if you like. With such a wide open space, you can explore different layout combinations. So instead of having your dining set here, what you could do is actually push your dining set all the way to the balcony. And you can have this dry kitchen or a high countertop area for you to have quick meals before you run out of the house. Moving 
into the kitchen, you've got counter space running the length of the kitchen L shape. So this is also done in the modern industrial theme. And you've also got windows at this end to really bring in ventilation. So in terms of what comes with the kitchen, you've got a double sink here. And you've also got appliances from Electrolux. The cooker, you've got a gas stove as well as an induction stove oven here. And on the other side of the kitchen is where you have the utility. So if you really think about this unit, this is a very spacious kitchen, something that you probably won't be able to see in many uh, new condo developments nowadays. So before we check out the second floor, let's talk a little bit about the area that we're in. So if you take a look out from the balcony, you see that the neighbouring blocks are quite a distance away. And going back into the site plan, you see that the blocks are laid out in a circular or a bit far away from each other. And this really helps to maximise the views that each unit gets. And that's why you get these kind of views from the balcony as well as the kitchen. So currently we are at Block 10L. This is the midpoint of Bredder Hill, but right in the heart of the Bredder View Estate. This block is further away from the amenities like the clubhouse and swimming pool but we do have an open space car park just right at our doorstep. Another interesting fact about this development is the mix of the low-rise and high-rise tower blocks here. And this really breaks the monotony of high-rise city living and gives you a very calm and serene feel to the place. So our block is a six-storey block, so we have masonite units from the first floor, the third floor and the fifth floor. But what's special about this block is that the car park doesn't start at the first floor, it starts at the third floor. So you get the elevated views from the fifth floor of the highest point of the hill, but with not as many stairs. So for the first common bedroom, it's actually located on one side of the house. So if you look at the original floor plan, you'll notice that there is a little space here that can be quite uh, difficult to fully utilise. So what the sellers have done is they've closed this space to act as storage. So they put in uh, all of the toys for the kids and everything else inside. They've also done shelves at the bottom of the window ledge and this area is left empty so you can put in the same shelves as well if you need more storage space. We have a five panel wardrobe over here as well as an area for you to put in a study table. In this current setup we have a super single bed but if you want to explore a queen size bed facing the window that's also definitely possible. There will still be lots of walking space around as you can tell there's quite a bit of space that is being underutilized right here. This is the bath that is shared by the two common bedrooms. Quite a big standing shower area and you've got an open space here as well for you to build in cabinet. Or if you'd like to extend your standing shower area, that's also possible. So this common bedroom interestingly shares about the same width as the master bedroom and you'll see that this is a very open space for you to explore different combinations of layout. So over here again we have the five panel wardrobe. So this is consistent with the first common bedroom and from this common bedroom you also got a really great view. So you can see through to the small little park where the residents have their kids playing in the evenings over here. Quite a bit of space here. You can explore a king size or queen size bed and there's still quite a bit of space walking around. So this is a very very uh, good space for a common bedroom. So before we go into the master bedroom, let's talk a bit about the condo facilities in this development. So we've got a swimming pool, tennis court, clubhouse with the gym as well. You've got barbecue pits as well as a table tennis court for you to use. There's also a mini mart located at where the clubhouse is. So you can hop by there to pick up any last minute groceries. Alright, so let's say if you're a family or you're just someone who loves having a large home to yourself and you want something that has almost fully internal livable space at least you know, 1,005 square feet and above with at least three bedrooms as well, then these are some of the options you have in the resale market right now. You have options at Trevista. A three-bedroom home size at 1,006 odd square feet is asking at $2.4 million. That puts their PSF at the 1,008 odd mark. QOP back in 2012, 99-year leasehold project. You also have option at Sky at 11, QOP in 2010, freehold project. Home size at 1,800. 51 square feet is asking at 4.3 million dollars so that puts their PSF at the 2003 odd range. And another project that is very comparable to here is Lakeview Estate, another HUDC, KOP back in 1977. Currently a unit there is asking at $1.8 million for a 1,615 square feet home that puts their PSF in the 1,001 odd range as well. And we also have Thompson 800, KOP back in 2000, freehold project. A unit size at 1,420 square feet is asking at $2.68 million that put their PSF 
ISF in the 1008 odd range. Alright, so our unit here is only asking at $1.99 million for 1,797 square feet home. So that puts our PSF at the very low 1,001 odd range. And we do think that this is still a very safe entry benchmark in terms of the PSF. And we do think that this unit right here also hits the trifactor that we always talk about. So you have all your livable space sitting on 1,797 square feet, three bedrooms, fully renovated. The asking is just below the $2 million mark and you're entering on the lower end in terms of the PSF just at 1,001 odd range. And to find a home that really hits this trifactor sweet spot is definitely one that is very hard to come by. In fact, if you just take a look at the transaction volume for Bradleview itself, this also goes to show that homeowners here at Bradleview do not change hands so easily as they also know, you know, the moment that they sell this off, it's going to be quite difficult to find something very similar back. And the reason why our owners are actually shifting is because of their family planning. So their kids are going to school in a different place and they want to move closer for their kids' needs. Alright, so now let's just check out the master bedroom. On the left, we have our walk-in wardrobe and it's also nicely hiding away your master bathroom. So your master bathroom is actually tucked behind this door over here. All your floor tiles as well as the renovations has already been very nicely done up. The standing shower area has already been nicely done up too. You have your glass separation as well. As well as two large panels of mirrors with more storage spaces at the back. So what's really unique to the top floor as well is that if you notice, there are actually no pipings that are showing up in your bathroom. Uh, so this really helps to keep the entire place very neat as well. Your main bed area is super huge. So this one right now is a king size bed. You still get plenty of space to walk around. If you do have like a young kid at home, you do need like a baby cot space. You can either have it on the side of the wall over there or you can also have it at the back. So what the owners have also cleverly done is to have their built-in home office just right at the back of the main bed area. So all these are already done up very nicely. What you can also choose to do is to reinstate this place into a balcony. And I think that this area overlooks into a very nice greenery with lots of privacy. If you take a look outside, what we are facing to is actually the internal garden area and because block 10 now is sitting on a higher elevation you also get to enjoy this really nice unblocked view you have no neighbors that are directly peering into your unit and this also definitely allows for lots of natural light to flow into your home all right now let's just head back downstairs and talk a little bit more about the unblock potential for brighter view as well Following the news, we have also heard that back in 2019, Bradleview actually attempted on block at a reserve price of $2.08 billion. And with such a huge land plot sitting at 1.14 million square feet that only accommodates about 918 units right now, can potentially build up to 2,620 new residential units instead. So unfortunately, back in 2019, there were not enough bids for this on block sale to successfully go through as at that point, probably developers were not very confident in terms of the property market and the property outlook as this entire land plot is really huge. But with developers teaming up in consortiums and bidding on land recently, we definitely think that there is an end block potential for a view in the coming years. And if we take a look at the master plan itself also, what you'll notice is that surrounding us, there are really a lot of land plots reserved specially for residential. So this also means that there are a lot of transformations coming to the area. What we are probably looking ahead is an entire new township. Now, of course, that's going to set the new property price benchmark in future as well. We also have the upcoming North-South Corridor, so that's going to help to ease the traffic journey as well. Alright, so we come to the end of the home tour. If you're looking for a generously sized tree bedder at the 1007 odd square feet range, still under the $2 million mark, and a very safe entry PSF price of the 1001 odd range, fully renovated, just under 10 minutes walk to the Calder Court MRT interchange, then do come and check out this unit with us. So if you're keen to fill this space, our listing manager contact details are just down below. So before we end off, do remember to like and subscribe to our Property Lim Brothers YouTube channel. We are also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok, so do check us out on there as well. I'm Nicole. I'm Kaylin. Property Lim Brothers, always happy to show your face. So Brother View is located on Brother Hill, which is actually a literal hill. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll walk faster. Yeah, you're gonna walk okay, faster. Okay, 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 okay. Hey guys, we're in District 20 and we're gonna uh, do something special. I'm so sorry, I keep forgetting my lines. <laughs> <laughs>